Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy episode. Today we are actually in the bonus episode. This is actually after we have completed the main quest, but we got a couple of quests that actually are still available for us. Um, so I wanted to just kind of tie up our loose ends and then you know, close the Hogwarts Legacy chapter for a while at least and do some more different games. Um, but yeah, I we saw that we needed to speak with Sebastian, Professor Weasley wants to speak with us and I think it'd be nice to kind of, you know, tie in those ends, I guess. Nothing crazy, I don't know how long this is gonna take, um, but you know, I just wanted to yeah, finish seeing uh, what there is to see. And also it's starting to become spring. Um, there's still clearly a bit of snow in places. But yeah, quite cool to see the season changing in Hogwarts Legacy, which is still one video that people still watch to this day, um, which I think is very interesting. One of the videos I made uh, when I first started my channel. Yeah, anyways, is that ominous? No, it kind of looked like ominous. Just by the hair, but it isn't. Well, let's see what Sebastian has to tell us. But yeah, this is going to be the last episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I have been thinking about maybe doing some episodes where I just walk around with no commentary. Um, just for people to enjoy the Hogwarts atmosphere. So we'll see if I manage to get to record some of those but no promises honestly because as i said i'm moving and so i won't be able to record for a while and all i can think now that he said i'm glad you came is the song uh Sebastian, that i won't sing I because i'm well. bad what's happened ominous spoke with anne about what happened with my uncle solomon she believes i should pay for what i did but she won't turn me in she said the guilt i'll have to live with is punishment enough I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's what I was thinking but as I'm well. I'm glad to know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. <sighs> I mean, I kind of want to say that. And my never forgive him because he's like gone like doing all of this because of the hope that you know his sister was gonna get cured even though everybody told him that she wouldn't so I don't know she may never forgive him you know he kind of and this is I guess the same thing as in he, he could have been a lot worse we could have turned him and sent him into Azkaban so I think this is kind of his punishment is you know, that he might not see her Sebastian, ever again. I'm afraid Anne may never be able to forgive you. But at least now you have a chance to change your path. I am glad for that. Yeah, exactly. But I still have hopes that Anne may in time understand what happened and come to forgive me. Sure, sure. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy. But I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. And another quest bites the dust. Well, Sebastian, it's been something, definitely. Um our journey together uh but yeah we'll we'll have to see well we'll have to see i don't know if we're gonna do anything with sebastian and poppy etc in like if they were to do a hogwarts legacy too also because you know because of the choices how do you know where he ends up right so yeah anyways well that was one of the loose ends um and now we actually there we go we want to track the quest 
and have a look and see what Professor Weasley has to left for us to know what's got what she has to tell us you know we'll see it's still oh this way but it's still snowing we saw definitely a bit saying that it was spring so okay she always says that to be fair um anyways as i you i'm sure you've seen if you if you're seeing this episode you know that Every time people speak, they just distract me uh, very badly, so... Anyways, let's see what Professor Weasley has to say. Oh, where were you going? Am I interrupting? You wanted to see me. I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on. And that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Graphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the Headless Hunt. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. Okay, no need to take it out of my hands like that. I was literally handed it to you, so... You know. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. It seems you've nearly completed your field guide. Well done indeed. With your OWLs Thank you. soon upon us, I am thrilled to see you so prepared. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony i am pleased to see that my instincts were correct to think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your owls well it's nothing short of astonishing thank you professor for everything you are most welcome i look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us Okay, thank you, Professor. Okay, we got a new quest. They usually say something after, but I guess she didn't. House cup. Ooh. Wait. Okay, okay, let's see. It kind of says, up there it says, complete um, your guide. Um, and then it says, you know, go to the hall. So I don't want other, um, you know, um, houses to win the cup. Um, so I'm worried that if I don't have like a hundred percent of the game, um, they, they're not going to give it to me or like to me, to, to Gryffindor. But we'll see. I feel like they wouldn't do that. I think you don't have to 100% it. That would be a bit too mean. I think, um, but we'll see, we'll have to wait and see, um, and this is why we're doing the bonus episode, because these are other little bits after the main story, I guess, um, there's always a guy with the rain, for the, the rain cloud here, um, still a little bit snowy, not as snowy, I guess, as before. Uh, I just, yeah. Honestly, the architecture is so cool. Like, I just love working through Hogwarts. Okay. 
well, almost there, almost there. And, and I'm taking in the sights of Hogwarts for one of the maybe last times. Um, so. Ooh, okay, we're taking the exams. Don't they have anti-cheating pens? Okay, magical beast. Um, that's a projection of a unicorn. And apparently we don't know what to do with that. Which to be fair, I wouldn't know either as in here is a projection of a unicorn. Deal with it. Ooh, ridiculous. Yes. Oh, it's her father, isn't it? Maybe not. I thought, you know, she was maybe like scared of him being raised by like as an imperi as an inferi, I don't know. Like, I thought it would take maybe hard loss shape otherwise. Everybody's friends apart from us, apparently. No one waits for us. This year we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yay! To finish. Woo -hoo -hoo. The loyalty Woo -hoo. of Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah. The wisdom. Who's this guy? <laughs> hey, hey. That looks like green instead of. And so, the okay, they're not too excited. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, oh, I'd say, 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. <laughs> I suppose we have our winner. Okay, yes, so me. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the winner. <laughs> Why am I standing by myself there? <laughs> With four people. <laughs> there is no one else. In Gryffindor. It's just them. Okay. <laughs> Yay. <gasps> so beautiful. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, this was a welcome, a welcome. You know, um, bonus episode, I guess, but also a kind of a needed one, I guess, considering we're getting to the actual, actual end. Well, what is there to say? There is so much to say. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to just share my thoughts on the game. Why not? Um, I think this has been a very, very interesting journey. I really liked it. To me... My favorite part is definitely been um, the the look and feel of the game in terms of feeling like you know we're taking part of the school year at Hogwarts and you know exploring Hogwarts, exploring Hogsmeade, just the scenery in general. Um, I just I just really really loved it. Um, I definitely didn't necessarily love the story. Um, not that I hated it at all. It was fine. I just feel like, I don't know, 
there is other game story that have kind of interested me more in a way um I think part of it is that um it just felt like you know we were put to foot we were put to fight a war that we never really had a part in like sure that we could wield the ancient magic but um you know we didn't necessarily too much you know there was all these moral choices but i feel like it didn't really have an impact into the game at all um i'm guessing if you choose to take the magic maybe the ending cutscene is a little bit different but it didn't really feel like you know choosing to not use the curses or use the cor- curses using curses in front of professors or friend or whatever it didn't feel like anything was affected i think i heard um at some point i said that if you used the curses in front of um your friends they would uh comment on it but they haven't at least i didn't notice it at all um so i definitely think in terms of quote unquote gameplay i want to say it wasn't my favorite game but it was so so worth it just to you know immerse myself into being around the Hogwarts I definitely think as well again I loved most the part at Hogwarts there's definitely a couple of cool um quests outside of Hogwarts and a couple of like cool environments outside of Hogwarts of course um but overall my favorite bits were definitely Hogwarts um I just I just love the idea of finally getting to like walk around and understand like oh how do you get from this classroom to another classroom or whatever um i think it would be really cool to like have an actual like sim like a simulator of life at hogwarts more than just having like we had one or two classes of for each um and then that was it and i do understand that um the game was more than just that um because you know you went out and there was just so much outside of hogwarts so i feel like actually you know I don't know, 80% of the game takes part outside of Hogwarts, Um, which I think it's a, to me, um, it's a little bit of a downside, (laughs) just because I loved being at Hogwarts, like all these shots of just seeing Hogwarts are so amazing, and again, to be fair, even, um, you know, uh, Hogsmeade is just so cute and pretty, and like traveling across the street, I love it, but that's the thing, I would have rather, I guess, have, um, diagonally as well and have less of a I don't know word around and have diagonally as well I don't know interacting more with these places like you know Ollivander and stuff again we kind of gone into a lot of the shops once and then that was kind of it um you kind of went to like one shop all the time to kind of sell your gear but then you don't didn't really need to like go into the other shops again much um so i don't know um i think sorry i feel like i'm being very negative i still really love the game um i love the music i love the aspects in terms of like the you know visuals again um i still really enjoyed um using all the spells learning the spells all the different spells um the um skill tree kind of thing i really liked the fact that it had like the cards the style was really cool uh like the drawings and stuff all the art honestly was amazing um i loved seeing also like the drawings around as you go around like the paintings but also like some of the drawings like of probably concept art um i think there were a couple in the finale episode or maybe um this when we started this episode i think the end of the finale um there was like a couple in the um common room uh, that you could see on the desks um there were so many unused not unused but like um in in hogwarts there are so many like rooms and stuff that you just get to your explore by yourself but never actually go there with an intent or kind of like i don't say necessarily a cutscene maybe you do get a quest of kind of like oh i you know need this or there is something over here but like like it's the dining keys or whatever but i think there could have been i would have again my perspective as a person who wanted this to be a hogwarts game um i would have liked more 
time and effort at Hogwarts with different quests rather than going outside. I think also there is a lot of repetition in terms of just, oh, here's a puzzle, you know, there is five types of Merlin puzzles and it's one of these. Um, or again, the Dead and Keys, <laughs> that quest honestly broke me in terms of having to just find all of them. Um, I don't know. And I think... I think that's where I would have liked more um, Hogwarts life, basically. But I think this is what a lot of other people liked instead of the fact that, you know, the fighting honestly is really good because, again, um, fighting with wands is still quite different than, like, guns and stuff. Um, so it's quite cool how they've managed to actually make it and, you know, things aren't as quick sometimes as you want it to be um, because of that, um, like slowness that comes with fighting with ones in general even in films we've seen this so like it isn't a fault of the game at home um so yeah i think i think a lot of other people and this is probably why they did it they did this for everybody not just hogwarts fans so this is something that you know works perfectly for them in terms of a lot of other people that are not big hogwarts fan or harry potter fan or whatever they get to actually just go around the world and fight and stuff like you would in any other video game. So I think that's kind of why they had that. But yeah, I don't know. I'm very happy though that they added the um, picture mode finally after over a year that the game is out. Because I definitely think that that was something that was missing at the beginning. Like, it's, it's such a beautiful game. It's such a waste to not have... Um, an actual screenshot feature in the game. All of my, <laughs> all of my uh, thumbnails are literally stills from the videos um, because yeah, you can't really take an actual screenshot from it. Um, so yeah, like I can't stop mid um, scene and just take a screenshot um, without like all the overlays and stuff. Um, so yeah, but honestly, loved it. Still loved it. <laughs> um, I still had a great time. I hope you guys have had it too. Um, as I said, um, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a time off. Um, so yeah, I don't know when I'll be back, I'll be honest. But I have a new brand new PC, shiny and ready to go. So I will be playing different games. For the people that don't know, I'm playing on a PS5 currently. But um, now that I have a PC, I have a lot more games that I can play. I've tried to look for like other games on the PS5 because I've learned how to, you know, set up here and record. But it just, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you can suggest any good games for the PS5 that I don't know about. Uh, but I will be switching to um, PC gaming. Uh, Slime Rancher 2 is probably going to be the first one I start playing. I would like to still have a long series, maybe I'll try to like alternate with like trying one different game and then the long series and then one different game and then long series or whenever I feel like doing a one-off, um, kind of do that one-off. Um, not sure these credits are going on for a while. I do want to, you know, display them as well because I have played so long i think this is episode 71 so yeah definitely they're they've definitely got you know francesca fanny Gulier, mark claire matthew adrian anna bruno celia all of you guys definitely deserve um to be on the screen for a little bit considering i've played for 71 episodes so you know, I think it's right that we just showcase all the game, all the names. Um, Vania la vecchia. Vec la, la vecchia in Italian means the old one. So, sorry. Just a funny surname there. Um, but yeah, so uh, Pellegrini as well. I knew somebody uh, with a similar uh, name. Um, but yeah, anyways. Lots and lots of people worked on this game. I have played it for a long time. So yeah, we'll just we'll just have give them their moment. Um I would love to be on like a credit or something. Italian localization, there you go. Italia, Italia, Italia. Uh let's just there you go, that's my favorite part. The Italian people go Italians. <laughs> um 
um, but yeah, for people that haven't clocked onto it, I am Italian. Um, if you couldn't tell by my lovely accent. Um, so yeah, I remember to be fair, <laughs> long time ago um, I was watching Jacksepticeye and I think he mentioned something like uh, to make it on YouTube you need to have colorful hair and an accent. I think this was in 2016-15. Um, I, although I don't have a camera, I do have colorful hair and I do have an accent. So there you go. Uh, that's all I need, I guess. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for games, uh, leave it in the comments, please. I would love to know what, um, yeah, what you guys want me to play or if there is a specific game that you think I might enjoy or that you would like to see. Um, let me know because I'm always open for suggestions. Um, so yeah, um, I was thinking also there is the Epic Games every week coming out for free. Um, so we might test some of those out uh, and see what we think. Um, and yeah, just check, set, check some of these places out. These credits are going on for a long time. Hopefully we're getting to the end. Um, I can try to run blonde frozen boris shapiro almost like ben shapiro which i honestly just know the name i was trying to think who was actually ben shapiro i don't know um i feel like um all i know is that there are memes about it so there you go that's my accent to the knowledge of ben shapiro <laughs> Um, imagine somebody just skips through the video and they just arrive here and they're like, why is she talking about Ben Shapiro? Risotto, wow, that's a, that's a surname, isn't it? Um, that's definitely something. Can we, like... I can only skip it. I wanted to, like, speed it up. Can we, like, go, 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 go. How long is this gonna go for? How long is this gonna go for? I don't know. I don't even know how many people, how, how, how many people have you made this far? If you made this far, let's see, uh, write Federico Daniel Garcia. That's the name that we choose for uh, if you've made it this far. Uh, comment down below, um, Federico Daniel Garcia. And we'll know, we'll know how far into the, into the video you made it. Um, well, I guess, <laughs> comment the last name <laughs> that you, um, that you saw before closing the video <laughs> or moving on but yeah i also want to know to be fair and this is an honest question is what are your thoughts into the game what did you like what did you not like um you know what was your favorite part have you played it for yourself as well have you not played it did you play it but not like to the extent that i played you know some people just bash through the main story um and you know you lose a little bit of the flavor around what is actually being created so I think it there is definitely lots of cool side quests I'd say so yeah I feel like like Natsai's one felt like that was kind of well Natsai's and Sebastian kind of felt like you needed to progress also the main quest um, but I guess you could have not um, it's interesting though because again I did a theory a long time ago that said is um, you know, using the um, the unforgivable curses actually an easy mode, basically. And I still stand by that statement, actually. I mean, I didn't know at the time, but I definitely think that it makes the game a lot easier. I tried actually not to use, um, in particular, Avada Kedavra much because actually I I think I've used it only a couple of times by mistake. Um, but yeah, I think. I think it just feels like a little bit of a cop-out because you can d get rid of enemies very quickly and technically with the linking of uh, I haven't done that actually but with the linking of the curses if you get everybody cursed and then you just have like another one everybody goes down so that feels like I don't know it's a bit you, I guess there's still some technique about it you should probably you could create I guess like a roster of like one of those four um, selected magic, um, you know, and you choose of the Karba and plus other ones that do curse other people. So then that way you can just kind of spam them and then get them all to drop like flies. Not sure. Um, 
but yeah i feel like it still makes the game a lot a lot easier even though to be fair um i feel like crucial is definitely the weakest one in terms of crucial does i feel like it should do more damage but i didn't actually feel like crucial was doing that great of a, a i mean it was still useful but I, I didn't feel like it was too op i think imperia is really is still already quite op because like at the end for example we had two trolls and we just made them fight each other and they really like brought their health down or for example you could and because that works in both ways actually because one imperial doesn't last forever so any damage to the troll or whatever you're controlling actually you know damages it as well and instead the other troll gets damaged or the other enemy gets damaged by the one you're controlling so yeah it's a lot of like it's a double it's a double win you know because you're getting basically rid of two enemies at once and they get busy with each other so that's really good um but yeah i think i think avatar is still very 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 op still also also the magic meter was really op because with some of the first um like um keepers uh, dungeons that we did uh the last boss like we one shot basically same with like some of the like big spiders and stuff we honestly just one shot them um so like i don't know it was i feel like it was a p every time that there is a big gap in the in the credits i keep thinking like now i keep thinking <laughs> i keep thinking oh we're done <laughs> then no we're like a game business and legal affairs okay now we're done no uh games people partners Come on, I feel like we're reaching the end, yeah? Analytics Digital Publishing Technology, okay. Are we almost there? Come on, come on, we got this. I feel like now it's like, um, I don't know, how do you say I am being stubborn? There you go, I kind of want to give these people their time, so I've trying to stick with it, but it's taking ages. Oh my god, is it not taking ages? Um, it is. You can speed this map, but you can put my video at like two point speed. If you haven't done that, do it. I mean, I know I speak fast, but you know, just get through the credit. Get through the credit. I also don't want to like miss if there is a scene that is only after the credits and need to play the credits like some games do. So I kind of, you know, we've made it this far, you know. BI developers, lead analytics engineer, lead engineer, senior data engineers, like, you know. Charlie Dickens, project manager sales reporting. Wow, what a name. You know, almost like Charles Dickens, but a couple of letters off. Okay. I feel like this is, you know, reaching a climax into a song as well. Warner Bros. Game Finance. Guys. Well done, you accounted for money. Good job. Marketing, represent, sure, but also, let's go, let's go, let's finish the credits, let's finish the credits. Guys, this has been going on for so long. And I'm saying guys to the guys doing the credits, not to you guys. Credit guys. Sales Canada? Oh my god, sales Mexico? Okay. How does Canada has one person and Mexico have all of that? I guess it's Mexico and Latin America, but that's still... Well, not Brazil, I guess. Why are we having so many people in sales marketing Brazil? What, what, what was happening in Brazil in particular? Okay, Warner Bros. Games, MEA. Okay, that's okay. We're, we're thanking everybody. Somebody's name is Lamb. Um, come on, come on. It's a, it's a climax into a song. We can finish, you know, the credits. Jeremy Sawyer. Tom Sawyer, that's what I'm thinking of. I was like, <gasps> yes! Oh god! <laughs> I was so excited! 
excited. I saw that big gap and I was like, this is it. This is longer than any of the other gaps. And instead, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, now they're just... They're just taking a piss to me. Like, they just make the spaces longer. But this song is that. This song's pretty cool. I'll give a second for the song. Come on. This is definitely a ending song. We've thanked everybody, their sister and their mothers. I feel like... Italy, Italy, Italy. Okay. Well, Budelli, oh my god. Uh, Budelli is basically like intestines and stuff. <laughs> so it's like not a great name. Oh, okay, I was about to get excited because again, big gap. Warner Bros. Game Audio, you did an amazing job. Now, can we... I, I feel like this is... This is getting to... I, I'm getting to like a point of, what is it called? When you put too much effort um, into something, like you committed too much, not necessarily effort. You committed too much like time, money, um, or effort, or you know, uh, brain space or whatever. Um, and so now you're committed, and this is the thing. I kind of feel like I've committed because I've invested so much uh, time uh, in this <laughs> so now it feels like I can't skip it but I really want to skip it oh my god French voice talent good job for you all how are they so low though I feel like these like in my opinion maybe I'm wrong but like the voice actor should go higher am I crazy I think I'm gonna Okay, the song, I feel like it stopped. Like it changed song. So I'm going to... I'm gonna have to... Skip. I think. Because this is just... This is just, I'm gonna reach the end of the Italian people. Okay. I'm sorry that I wasted everybody's time. But I was trying no cutscene, no nothing. Okay. Well that was a long, a long, long, long list of people. I really tried. I really tried. I tried. I tried so hard. It did not work out. I'm so sorry. I tried. Oh, look how cool though. I just noticed that like you can see that like it's been worn out like where people have worked the most. Like come on, that's such cool attention cool attention to details. Definitely these people did need did like, you know, deserve a little bit of time in, on the screen, but there were too many people. Anyway, so I guess no no ending cutscene. I never actually saw this drawing. Uh but yeah, no ending cutscene. So well, thank you for if you've stuck through all of that. Uh, thank you. I hope again you put me on two much two XP. Definitely deserves two XP. But yeah, I think this is the last we'll see of Hogwarts Legacy. So thank you so much for joining me, especially for the bonus episode. Thank you so much for sticking through the credits if you made it. If you haven't, honestly, I understand, you know. But also thank you to the people that made the game, um, and thank you to Hogwarts Legacy for all this great time that we got to share with us me and you and yeah i hope you have a great day and i will be back after my break um so yeah thank you for sticking with me and i will see you soon bye